Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. I work as a software engineer at JobTarget. In this video, I want to share an architecture that can take screenshots from the website uh, synchronously or asynchronously and can scale on demand using AWS API Gateway. AWS Lambda will be utilizing Selenium as a layer. So I'm very excited to teach you about this. So I'll be showing you the code and the working model. So let's get started with this video. The architecture looks pretty simple, but it's pretty robust one. So this is an asynchronous model. So what we are trying to do is basically the user would basically supply a JSON body in the on, a, on an API, right? As soon as you hit the API, basically that's an API gateway. We would publish that message to an SQS queue. That way, no matter how much ever traffic comes in, all the message would be in the queue and the Lambda would basically pull the queue at a leisurely pace. The Lambda is responsible for taking screenshots using Selenium as a layers. And if anything goes wrong, if there are any errors, error could be seen on a CloudWatch and it would publish that message on an SNS topic and the, it would notify the appropriate user. Once the screenshot is taken, the, the screenshot would be deployed or would be uploaded on an Amazon S3 and it would be separated from like, you know, like a date. So it will be nicely organized. So you could check the screenshots from various, various websites. So let's see, let's see the code and a working, uh, working uh, project like this, okay? So I'm gonna show you the code, I'm gonna explain you the code, and then let's try to understand a little bit about uh, how everything works together, okay? Let me So I have organized the code, uh, code pretty neatly in separate, separate classes. It's a nice object-oriented class. I uh, hope you would appreciate that. Uh, as uh, you just need to do a couple of things, for example, change the access key, secret key, and the bucket name. So what I've done is basically uh, this API, uh, basically since it's gonna be triggered through an API gateway, I'm explaining you the code. I have a schema validator. Basically the schema validator would basically validate uh, the JSON uh, that is coming for, from an API. So you have to pass a URL and the destination path where you wanna save it on an S3. If, to, if you do not pass that, it's gonna get, show you, you know, errors. After that, I have a class called WebDriver. The job of this is basically to read the Chrome WebDriver from the layers and basically uh, return the driver object. And then uh, uh, basically I have a class called WebDriver Screenshot. This is the actual class that would actually take the screenshot from a particular website. And in the Lambda, as you can see, if you provide all the URL and the attributes in the JSON, it would basically uh, go to the else part. If not, it's gonna show you an error right there. So here, right here, as you can see, it's gonna take the screenshot. It's gonna crawl over that, you know, um, URL that you provide. It's gonna take the screenshot, dump the screenshot on uh, an S3. So that's the Boto3 client object, upload file. So that's pretty much it. Now let's try to set up everything on AWS, uh, basically using an API gateway, Lambda and Selenium. So let me... All right, let's get started, man. So let's set up everything on AWS. This is my GitHub repo, come here. And this is the basically a zip file. Uh, I think that's the a zip file that you need to upload. Uh, unfortunately, um, let me expand it. Uh, hopefully you can see that's the zip file. So that's the basically the layers that you need, okay? So let's try to set up everything, ma'am. So let's uh, set up an API gateway. So I'm gonna go to the API gate. Or before that, you know what? Let's set up uh, basically, um, let's try to set up a, a the Lambda. So head over to your Lambda, okay? And I'm gonna create a Lambda called Screenshot here. So let's create a Lambda quickly. So yeah, we'll for create all these resources and then I'll, I'll walk you over everything step by step. So yeah, I'm here, man. So I'll go to the create functions here. Uh, hopefully it would open up. And I think I can stretch my window a little bit there. So that should, uh, you know, help you to see things a little better. So let's call this as a, a scraper and we name this as screenshots. Uh, important thing that this only works with Python 3.7. So, hey, please, um, you know, uh, select the runtime as uh, 3.7, man. Uh, let's click on the create functions. So that's gonna create your, um, whatever you call, um, you know. So first of all, download the zip because we need that uh, layers, right, I think. So I'm gonna download that. I'm not sure if I already have it, but I'm gonna walk you through that. So that's your Lambda. Couple of uh, settings we need to uh, do here. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through that. We need to increase the timeout and the memory that the Lambda takes, right? So let's try to mess around with that a little bit. So go head over to the configuration section, general, I would click on edit. 
I would uh, actually put this to five minutes uh, and zero seconds. Uh, that should be pretty much good. I would change this to thousand. Okay, and then click on save button. Okay, so this these configuration should be good. Once you have that, let's uh, add a layer. So we need a Selenium on the uh, AWS, right? So you can go to my um, library and you know download that. I already have it. So uh, you know I'm gonna select that one. So pretty much it. Okay. So now we have that. We need to still connect API Gateway. Do not forget that. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So now we have that. Now uh, what we need to do is we need to take uh, we need to create a IAM user for that because you know you need a permission to S3 and stuff like that, right? So I'm gonna show you. After this, I'm gonna delete everything. But let me actually show you. I'm I'm, go I'm actually doing things step by step. You can fast forward the video. That's fine with me. So head over to the IAM section right here. Might take a while. So meanwhile, our Lambda uh, is all set, as you can see. Uh, let's head toward the head towards the Lambda. Copy the code that I wrote uh, here. Um, you know, we'll, we have to add something. So let's just wait. So now we go to the IAM here and we need to create a new IAM user, which would have access to the S3 and stuff. But right now I'm just going to select, a, 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 what do you call that, an admin user. So let's delete that one. I don't need that one. Give it a couple of seconds. Yeah, I want to delete that, so that's fine. Okay, add user, uh, screenshots, okay. One programmatic access, next permissions, uh, basically attach policies. So attach the admin here. For now, I'm doing that, so things are easy. So yeah, it should be pretty straightforward, not that uh, difficult. Now, I want you to copy these keys here uh, and copy these keys and I would say dump it right here. So that's the secret key. Yeah, of course, I will delete it after the video. I just want to show you guys everything, okay? I'm trying to show you step by step, okay? Now I need to copy the S3. Uh, S3, I would say my S3 name. So again, you know, simple is easy, easy enough. Uh, let's head over to the S3 bucket. I think it's Samil Shah 1995, but I'm going to double check. I don't remember it exactly on the tip of my head so hmm. so might take a while so yeah it's pretty straightforward as i said uh let's wait for this guy to pop up coming coming to the buckets might have a couple of buckets but samuel shah 995 bucket so that's the bucket name the bucket name has to be unique globally if you do not have a bucket create a bucket um as i said fair enough it's easy not something complicated so let's copy the bucket name and dump that in the code okay so we need to put that in the code so in the xxx section we put that copy the code as it is okay uh i'm gonna bring this guy here we don't need this okay so now what i want to do guys here is basically uh since we have these information copy minimize i wrote all that for you you don't have to worry dump that in deploy here okay so hopefully you know we did enter all things correctly you if you followed everything with me uh, well written code again as i said everything is perfect now what i want you to do is now we need to just connect some blocks so we need to connect an api gateway here so you know an api that can trigger that lambda uh, scroll up and copy the arn function uh, the arn of the of the lambda now in the api let's head over to the api gateway api gateway I take a while but yeah let's let's just wait hmm. yeah it, as i said it's pretty easy and straightforward okay so uh hopefully that that loads up <laughs> so i i think i do have one um, i'm gonna delete that uh, if i forget it you know they, they'll charge you so I, because i keep playing with this um, stuff so um now here what you want to do uh you want to basically create an api right so you can either go with the REST API um, where you get complete control over the request response or you can go with the HTTP API, whatever, it's the same thing, man. Excuse me, um, let's call this that one. Next, next, uh, create. Sorry for, you know, I just had a cup of tea. So, so let's head over to the route, okay? So now we need to create a route. So create, uh, let's make it post. I uh, just want to see what did I call. So let's create a route called screenshots. Okay. So that would be my route. So that's my route. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to attach an integration. 
Now my integration is basically my lambda function. So here, AWS uh, lambda, uh, this one right here. So now we gotta specify the ARN. So I'm gonna copy my ARN. That one, select, create. And hopefully if all the permissions and things were correct, it should be fine, trust me. Uh, so let's wait for that one. So it seems like it's, uh, give me one sec, everyone, please. Give me one sec, okay. So that's fine. Now what I need to do is I need to test on a website. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually gonna give it to my GitHub account. So it's gonna take a screenshot from my GitHub, okay. So let's copy this bad boy right here. Give me one sec, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now uh, again, head over to API Gateway. We need to copy the route, right? So what we would do is stages. I think it's in stages somewhere, right in the stages. Oh, no, 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 it's, I think it's in this one. So yeah, that's my endpoint, right? So that's my invoke endpoint, copy link address, and I'll show you in a second. Let me, uh, okay. Uh, let's bring this here. Okay, Postman. So hopefully, I'm assuming things should be correct. Uh, message not found. Uh, oh, there is two slashes. So let's let's try now. Seems like uh, one sec. I just want to make sure. Uh, what was my route? So take screenshots is the route, and I think I did the right thing. Take screenshots. Uh, head over to the API gateway. I just want to verify um, the domain. Sometimes it takes a while to start up, but if I just click on this, it's gonna say not found because I know it's uh, now. And uh, if I replace this with that one and remove the slash, uh, yeah, it's a JSON raw. If we do a post request now. I think it's yeah. So the, I think the resources were building, so that's why it took a while. So now this should basically take a screenshot on the website, okay? So might take about seven seconds, I think. Seven seconds, yeah. So true, perfect. Now I'm gonna show the screenshot on S3. Let's over to the S3. Uh, just gonna refresh your, I had a couple of files, but that's fine. So my path, you see, whatever path you give on the URL, and these are your screenshot, my guys. So let's download that. Takes a while. Download. Oh, I should have done download and sort of download as, but it's fine. I just want to show you it works, man, because the I, I, I try to walk you through all the steps that I've taken, okay? So, download, and I'll show you that the screenshot was taken. So, the image is opening now, and there you go, guys. Screenshot from my image taken by, um, so basically, we connected every single thing, API Gateway, Lambda, Selenium, everything works like a charm. I hope you really did enjoy this video and if you did really enjoy it, do give a thumbs up on the video and as usual guys you know the code is there on the github section the, the selenium deployment package is also there on the, on the description section so everything is there all the resources are there all you need to do is try it all by yourself so i uh, hope you did enjoy and if you had any more questions i would uh, ask you to leave your question in the comments and if you have any more concerns let me know in the description section below or in the comments sorry so yeah, keep smiling, keep coding, and see you guys next time.